A lot of the conversations that Gen Z is exposed to right now on social media, they aren't actually conversations or dialogue. It's more like statements or posts. Um, and a lot of the dialogue can be very polarizing if there is any dialogue. I think I came across them on Instagram, to be honest. And then someone reached out from their team to me and was like, hey, like, check this Genova group chat. Uh, my name is Sophie Barron. I am a unifier. I am the founder and CEO of The Conversationalist and I'm 29 years old. The Conversationalist is a platform, a community and a movement dedicated to empowering young people to unify the world. We're on a mission to bring people closer together through dialogue by opening our echo chambers and bringing people a little bit closer together. And we see it in what's happening now in politics and kind of how certain issues are really exacerbated online. And, you know, we tend to only hear the loudest voices in the room, which are often hateful. So it's really important to find ways to burst your own bubble or break outside of your own echo chamber so that you at least know what reality looks like. There's so much hate on social media. There's so much polarization. Having honest conversations where you feel like your point of view is heard and respected is rare and very important. Conversationalist is having kind of like meaningful, honest conversations in part because they use Geneva, because they have a separate app and they don't just use TikTok, Instagram, all of the basic platforms. Like you really get a diverse group of people, um, which is great. You hear different people's perspectives from, again, a lot of places in America um, and just like hearing their insight and like why they, you know, believe in what they believe, especially in like politics. And so it kind of, it, it sometimes helps us kind of, I think, find that middle ground uh, where it's like both sides aren't right and both sides aren't wrong. I think the voting age should be lowered in our country. I think it should be higher. Why is 18 year olds voting? I feel like that's like so like kind of dumb. I feel like we're so young to make a decision. Do you plan to vote in the election? I'm actually too young to vote. I'm currently 16. I'm going to be a junior in high school, but I am registered on my schools and in my community's youth registration team. I'm really excited to be here I today. can't believe you're only 19. I know. That's crazy. You're so impressive. Thank you. I appreciate it. So amazing. This all got started when I was growing up in the Midwest. I'm originally from Wichita, Kansas. Really the first time I understood what an echo chamber was. And I don't even know if I realized it at the time. But growing up, I was in an environment and a community that was pretty homogenous, except I was the only Jewish student in my grade for K through 12 education. And so when it was time for college, I like to say I sprinted down the Yellow Brick Road all the way to Penn, where I quickly joined every single wish organization under the sun. We think that belonging means to surround yourself with people who are like you, but at the end of the day, I think true belonging happens when you surround yourself with people who have all different opinions, perspectives, lived experiences, which helps you grow in turn. It's, it's important to cultivate a space for disagreement on social media because the algorithms of social media are basically made to section people off and put us in echo chambers where we just agree with the people that we're surrounded by and don't empathize or try to understand a different point of view. So like literally the structure of these algorithms is kind of sectioning us off and putting us into different um, different online spaces <laughs> like um, where you can't even reach out to someone with a different point of view. The more and more we can have conversations that are based in human experience rather than asserting some sort of misinformed viewpoint, I think we're able to build trust amongst each other. And that leads us to a society where we can coexist, not because we have to, but because we want to.